This video is designed to help educate our internal team and our customers on the proper use and function of the spreader board. Today you will learn how to install the easy to use pin and clip spreader board on your units. You will also learn the importance of the spreader boards as they pertain to damage avoidance. The spreader board is a one and a half inch by one and a half inch piece of wood with metal pins and clips on either end. They come in specific sizes to fit your showers or tub showers to help reduce damage. The spreader board should be used on all showers and tub showers. Here are the various damages that can occur during normal handling of units if the spreader board is not used. Post dam cracks. Cracks in the column. Rub marks, scratches, and chips on the front column. And cracks in back corners. To prevent these damages from occurring, we will be showing the different scenarios in which to utilize your spreader boards. You will need spreader boards for nested units. Spreader boards, two per nested bundle, will be located in the sump between the tub cavity and the skirt wall. The spreader boards accompanying each nested bundle will fit the two tub showers. For the nested bundles, if you store the units nested, please keep the spreader boards in the sump location until time to unnest. Once the units are unnested, the spreader boards must be attached as shown to the units to help support the sidewalls from bowing and cracking. You will need spreader boards for interlocked units. For those units, the spreader boards, group of two to five boards, will be located against the floor of the trailer at the bottom of the specific row of interlocked units. Each row will have the same number of spreader boards as there are showers. We recommend to first pick up the spreader boards and move them to the side. Then, as you unload the interlocked tubs, attach the correct size spreader board to each shower as shown before storing the units. Again, the spreader boards are used to prevent the sidewalls of the showers from bowing and cracking. You will also need spreader boards for single showers and tub showers. The spreader board should already be attached to the shower or tub shower. Those are the different scenarios around when and how to use spreader boards to help protect your bathing units. If you receive units without a spreader board, please contact your ABG customer service representative immediately so we can address the problem internally and get a spreader board sent out to you. Thanks for your time. And remember, these boards help us to better serve you and your customers. Please take the time to use them on each unit.